Today I have a teaching that I used for children when I was teaching Sunday school. It's called A Ticket to Heaven. The story is that there were two little boys and one of the little boys received Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. As they progressed through life, they still remained friends. But the little boy that gave his life to Jesus always stayed with the Lord. And the other boy, as he grew up to manhood, he didn't. He was very worldly. And they grew old together. And they both died at the same time. The man that knew Jesus, he had a ticket to get into the pearly gate. And this represents the ticket. And on their way to the pearly gate, the two men were talking. And the one said to the other, do you have a ticket? He said, no, I don't. Well, I said, you've been my friend all my life, and I would like for you to be with me in heaven. I only have this one ticket, but I'd like to share it with you. So do you think maybe if I cut this in half and give you half, we can both get in? The other man said, let's try it because I want to be with you in heaven. So they cut the ticket in half, right down the middle. The boy that lived his life for Jesus he handed his ticket to St. Peter. St. Peter opened it up and he said, come on in. So he was admitted. And the other man who had lived the worldly life handed his ticket likewise to St. Peter. And St. Peter opened it up. Lo and behold, this is what it said. St. Peter's reply was, this ticket is for another gate. I'm sorry, but you can't get in this gate. The lesson is, Hang on to your faith with Jesus Christ. As you notice, there's no pieces left over. Nothing had to be added to it. God knew everything from the beginning, the beginning from the end. And everything in life has a purpose. Just like every piece of this little puzzle has a purpose. Hang on to your faith in Jesus Christ. I would like to show you how to fold the ticket to heaven so that you can show other people and children. Okay. First, you fold it like you're making an airplane, sort of, but you go, instead of going halfway, you go all the way across to the farthest edge, okay? Fold back. And then you fold this corner all the way over to the farthest edge, also, sort of like you're making a paper airplane. And then, just like making an airplane, the next step is to fold it in half this way again. And just like you could fold these down and make wings and make an airplane out of it, or make it simple, I just fold the whole thing right over. Either way, it doesn't matter. Fold it right over and crease it. And there is your ticket to heaven.
Now when you cut it, start on the thin end. I find it's easier. And you cut as much as you can right directly in the middle all the way through the end. Now you'll notice when you cut it, you're going to have a few extra pieces. So these extra pieces go with the one ticket, not the ticket that forms the cross, but goes with the other ticket. And this is what you get from ticket number one. As you assemble ticket number two, you'll notice very easily the letters are formed with no extra pieces. You can put them together. This is what it spells. Only God can create such a puzzle. This has been A Ticket to Heaven by Lee Johnston.